Hi, this is Eric Saylor, speech-language pathologist from La Mesa Spring Valley School District. I'm going to show you some interactive applications for the MacBook. First, I'm going to show you how to make a touchscreen. Then, I'll show you how to make an interactive whiteboard using a TV. Finally, I'll show you how to do gesture recognition. And the amazing thing about all this is that you can do it for less than $100. To make the touchscreen and the interactive whiteboard, we're going to first need two main components. And most of us in our school district already have these provided to us. First of which is a MacBook and second is a TV. Besides these two things, we're going to need a Wiimote. There's also on the back I have special casing from Pinteractive and the next item also came from Pinteractive, an infrared pin. Then we'll need a tripod because the tripod is going to be holding the Wiimote which will be pointing over at our laptop. And we'll, finally, we'll also need uh, a Wiimote whiteboard software application from Johnny Lee's website. Okay, I have my Wiimote connected now to my tripod and it's pointing over to my laptop. I also have my Wiimote connected to the Bluetooth which is up at the top right hand corner of the screen over kind of by the volume. I'll come back a little bit and the first thing we're going to do is for the touch screen is uh, go ahead and calibrate using the, uh, the infrared pin. On this pin there's a little push button which I'm going to press when I want to uh, activate something on my laptop screen. We're going to get this white screen and I'm going to have to do a four point calibration starting off in the top left hand corner. So when that part of the screen is calibrated I'll see a green check. Okay so now our screen is all calibrated and I'm going to go ahead and open up a, a Firefox web browser. So that's going to come up and I'm going to go to the bookmarks and I'm going to select speech language pathology sharing it's a blog that I've created So that's going to open up and I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can watch a movie on this website using the touch screen. So I'm just going to go down and push play. Going to the movies, a video and social this is story a by Eric social Sailors, story that I made. Pathologist. I'm going to the movie theater today. First, I'll, I'll go ahead and pause it. Ticket. Now I'm going to show you how to make an interactive whiteboard. First off, I need to make sure that I have my audio and video cables connected to the TV which I have set up and you can see Firefox up on my TV screen uh, and then also off in the distance I have my Wiimote attached to the tripod in a position where it can see uh, the infrared light from the pin whenever I touch the screen. I'm gonna come back here to my um, laptop and I have the Wiimote whiteboard application which I had downloaded for free and I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate just like I had before um, but this time I'm gonna do it on the TV screen. I'm gonna do the four point calibration starting up here in the top left corner and I'm looking for the green check. Now we're all calibrated here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my bookmarks on Firefox. And so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open up speech language pathology sharing.blogspot.com. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here all the way to the bottom to watch a video. Here I have a video that another speech language pathologist and I did 
Um, it's for a social language skill, responding adequately. And I have the video embedded within the website. And then also I have the full screen version. Um, if I go ahead and select the teacher tube link right down here. So it's going to open up in teacher tube. And let's make sure that we have the volume. And I can even make this bigger. Okay, so here's full screen and scoot back. Here's a full screen video using the interactive whiteboard. So now I'm going to show you gesture recognition using Fluid Tunes. Um, well, I got this website off of an assistive technology blog. There's a Fluid Tunes website where you can download the free application. So you just go down here and download. Once it's been saved to your computer, then you're going to open it up. And this is going to automatically open your iTunes library, which we'll see here in just a second. Okay, so you might have seen there's a green light that just came on. Uh, the reason why is because this application is working alongside with my eyesight camera. Um, and I don't know if you can see behind all the songs that I have on my head, but basically it's going to recognize um, my head and my hand movements. I'm just going to try to move my hands to go through some of the songs. So let's see if I can show you that. So kind of going through my library here. Then I can go back the other way. Oops. I think I'm accidentally activating the other side. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way back over here to the left side. Let's see if I can get an appropriate song to play. Here, I'll play this Jason Mraz song. So now I'm going to move my hand to push play. There we go. And now it's playing the song. Then I can go ahead and push stop. And the song has stopped. And that's gesture recognition. Now that I've demonstrated these interactive applications, I hope that other school district employees will use them with their students. I know that I will. For at least the last two years, I've wanted an interactive whiteboard. And with the budget the way that it is, I know that there just isn't funding out there for a multi-thousand dollar interactive whiteboard. So uh, it's great now with what Johnny Lee has shown us um, in terms of using the Wiimote for all these really fantastic interactive applications. Um, I really appreciate what he's done and uh, I look forward to using all of this with my students.